Today, we find ourselves undertaking a venture larger than we ever envisioned. In collaboration with esteemed partners, Penguin and Cambridge University Press, this festival marks our most significant endeavor to date. Amidst the abundance of prestigious festivals taking place across the nation, we recognized the significant undertaking of organizing a unique literature festival for our state. Undoubtedly, our partners played a pivotal role in consolidating expertise and providing the crucial support we required to venture into uncharted territory. I am sincerely grateful to the numerous individuals and groups who have contributed to making this day a reality. Together, let us embark on this literary journey united by a shared passion for reading, learning, and shaping a brighter future for Nagaland. Welcome then to an incredible and inspiring journey to the world of literature. As we continue our inaugural session, it is an honor to have with us Honorable Chief Minister of Nagaland, Shini Puryo. Please join me in invi inviting him to the stage to share a few words and officially inaugurate this groundbreaking event. This year's festival carries the theme, Echoes of Narratives. The theme that resonates deeply with the literature heritage of Nagaland. Our cultural richness finds expression in both oral and written forms, with storytelling and the thread that weaves us into the tapestry of our origins. The tradition of oral literature manifested through folk tales and songs is a precious legacy that connect us to a time long before the written words emerge. It is imperative that we cherish and actively engage in the preservation of our oral literature, for it is through storytelling that we safeguard our rich cultural identity. To the younger generations, I express my hope that this festival serves as an inspiration to read more and write more and actively contribute to the documentations and preservations of our vibrant literary tradition. May a Trevin readings culture emerge, one that recognizes the transformative power of literature. In the shaping of our perceptions of the world, let us not merely abstract information from books, but also seek to understand and appreciate the diverse narratives that make up the fabric of our society. My sincere appreciation goes to Artur Norio, the festival director of the White Owl Literature Festival and the proprietor of White Owl Book Launch. In pursuit of knowledge, she has also contributed to the nurturing a community of readers, writers, and thinkers who are fervent about influencing the world with wonderful literary concepts, in addition to working tirelessly with educators, members of the community, and children. She has been able to organize multiple book fairs by connecting with several schools and colleges. Even today, I've seen a lot of students taking part, showing their interest. In the Naga way of life, our history is passed down from one generation to the other. 
true songs or narration of stories. And lately, Nagaland has witnessed the mushrooming of police writers and authors in the last one or two decades. The White Owl Literature Festival and Book Fair is a giant leap towards pursuing policies that benefit every and budding writers. As we gather here in the spirit of literature celebration, I hope that the memorable interaction with Naga writers and intellectuals and on tap potential of our region will entice you to return in the near future also. This festival, as mentioned, is not just an event. It is a bridge that connects us across cultures and generations, fostering a deeper appreciation for the writers and spoken words. As I stand before you, I realize that my parents, our family, we were dominated by men. We are six brothers and three sisters. But in my family, we have five daughters and one son. And I found that the empowerment of women, and as today I said on the dais, I see the ladies in charge of our Literature Festival. I congratulate our ladies from inside the state and also outside the states. I feel that we are in a safe hand because women are more committed, focused, and I'm sure with the ladies, we will move ahead in this literature. The Literature Festival and Book Fair held today. I want to extend my best wishes and may the two days be filled with echoes of narratives that resonate in our hearts and minds. Thank you and God bless. Story comes to my door, story climbs up my shoulder, story begs me, write me, write me, write me. A friend, a dear friend told me to start with a poem, so there's a poem for you. And now I would also like to join the rest of you with a really big congratulations to the White Owl and your partners. We're so proud of you. We're so impressed and we're just so proud of you. And in Naga Hindi, we say chabash. And in proper Hindi, I think we, we can give them a good chabash. <laughs> Thank you. And just to remind ourselves that we who are here today, we are so fortunate because we didn't or we couldn't make it to the JLF, the big uh, famous um, Jaipur Literary Festival, which has recently concluded. But this is better than JLF. <laughs> I'll tell you why. Because the personal touch is here. So, the, the organizers are always within reach and they're always looking after your, your needs. So it's better than JLF or all the other LFs that are going to come in your way. What are we doing with that beautiful exchange, that beautiful meeting point between the, the divine and the human, which we, for want of a better word, call story? 
what is happening today to the story and to storytelling is is alarming because the story has been weaponized the story is being intellectualized the story is being politicized to a horrifying degree i see stories that are used as ammunition to prop up movements and to prop up uh, just you know uh, trends and I, I think it's sad and I think it's very wrong and we have to do something about it even if it's just croaking from our ponds because as we continue to croak the village world will one day hear us so let's not give up croaking finally I want to remind you the story is seed the story is therapy and the story is hope so write good stories and give hope and healing to your readers. Thank you.